Hello everyone! Today's video is gonna be very hot. I'm gonna talk about the red lipsticks. Red lipstick is something very special for each woman who wears the red lipsticks. I would like to show you red lipsticks from different brand, different colors, undertones of the red lipsticks to talk about the texture and longevity of the red lipstick, which I think is very important for the red lipsticks to last long. The red lipstick is something very special for each woman who decides or who wears already red lipstick, because red lipstick is about the character. When we choose the red lipstick, we decide to be something special. We decide to be a Hollywood star. I love red lipsticks a lot and when I started my journey into the red lipsticks I made a lot of mistakes. I was buying red lipsticks from different brands completely sure that this is the red lipstick which I need because like this is the order. There, there cannot be any mistake about the color. I would like to share my experience with you how I was finding my shades. I have to say that not every single lipstick might suit you because of the color or because of the undertone, because of the texture, because the same color in a different texture might not suit you. And I would like to show you some examples over here as well. Of course, on my complexion, because I cannot show you something which might suit you, which doesn't suit me. I was thinking to film this video um, much earlier than I'm doing that right now because I was waiting some special guest into my collection and probably most of you knows who I'm talking about or what I'm talking about. In December last year, November or December last year, Lisa Eldridge launched her collection of red lipsticks and when i knew about this lounge i haven't seen them yet but i said yeah i need to have them definitely so when i checked her website everything has been sold out already but she promised that she will launch it as soon as possible and uh, oh my god i was waiting for seven months to see those lipsticks to be restocked and those babes arrived to my destination here you go this is them and i decided that i will not try those lipstick out of the camera so i'm gonna do that right away with you at the end of this video and i would like to give you my thought on those red lipstick and you will be able to see the true reaction how i feel about those lipsticks i'm very excited <laughs> to try them on because i already have my favorite lipsticks and uh, my favorite colors which I'm gonna show you right now and I'm gonna show you my mistakes in the red lipsticks which I did buying some colors which doesn't suit me or something like that and um, when I heard about the red lipstick from Lisa Eldridge I thought that's gonna be something very special she probably was thinking about the right red color very very precisely because she has a passion about everything what she does this is what i see this is from my perspective and if she does something it's not about the business it's about her passion and i think this is what makes you very special and uh, this is why these babes is gonna be a very special guest into my collection it doesn't matter probably if i love them or not if they're gonna be my favorite or not and we will know about that at the end of this video i really want to love those lipsticks and to give them a grand prix through my collection and uh, i want them to be my new holy grail my new favorite ones red lipstick and actually what i really want i want all these colors to match my complexion and I would like to wear them, all of them. 
Um, some too dark red lipsticks, I cannot wear them because I don't think they suit my lips or complexion. I don't know. But some red lipsticks, some undertones I wear and oh my god, I thought this color would never suit me. But something different and and it's suit. So probably I expect the same from these colors. Some too bright red lipsticks doesn't suit me. Too much blue undertone on the, in the red lipsticks doesn't suit me. Um, too dark colors, too dark red, uh, too dark brown colors doesn't suit me. But we are talking about vintage velvet jazz true classic red lipstick with blue undertone velvet ribbon and bright orange red lipstick which in most of the cases doesn't suit me but if there is a slight difference it might be just the perfect color this is my expectation from these red lipsticks and uh, i hope they're gonna fulfill those expectations so let's move on. I will start make the whole tutorial about the red lipsticks. I might will not get the camera closer to me at this moment because I would like you to see how the red lipsticks looks with the whole look. Well, let's start with swatches and the first red lipstick I would like to start is Dior. The color is Rouge Dior Triple Nine Matte. I'm gonna make all swatches on my lips without the pencil. Um, let's see how it's gonna work. In case if I need it, I will take it. I'm gonna use first the brush to create the perfect line and then apply the lipstick directly from the bullet. First, I remove the excess of the foundation on my lips and now. I probably would like to use some primer because this is the red lipstick, it will give you a lot of pigments. I would like to protect a little bit lips from the pigment sucked into my lips and now let's begin. That's I hate. This is not supposed to be with the 50 bucks lipstick. I mean, it's new. <sighs> so this is Dior Rouge Triple Nine Matte, but it's not completely matte. It's very lightweight. This is, I would say, the classic red lipstick, but through the whole internet and through the whole information we have right now, the true classic red lipstick is with blue undertone how easily you can check if it has a blue undertone and how intense is that put it on your arm and just spread a little bit if the red lipstick transfers into the magenta color that means it has the blue undertone this much it doesn't have too much it almost doesn't have blue undertone maybe just a little a little bit that's why it's pretty true red color so here you go uh, it's not very dark it's pretty bright and light red color i would say it's not completely matte it's still it kind of setting a red lipstick but i have a very thin layer but still the payoff of this Mm, red lipstick is buildable so I cannot get the full coverage from one swipe I need a little bit build up but it still has very thin layer the next red lipstick I would like to show you from Tarte this is Tarte Sleep Paint if you just take it out you can see already it has a lot of blue undertone you can see magenta color so 
so you can see the tone of this red lipstick a little bit different it gives it has a little bit blue undertone Tarte has a velvety finish of the red lipstick this is the matte unfortunately I gave it as a gift to those red lipstick because it was too much blue undertone and it's too dark for me this is a little bit lighter it's brighter and suits me more but I had not a good experience with this red lipstick I was using it for the photo shoot so I kind of rely on this red lipstick and when we had a break we had lunch a little bit during the photo shoot but <laughs> when I saw myself after the lunch it was horrible everything was uh, small pieces here completely I saw my lips so it's not long wear it's long wear but you cannot eat it you cannot rely on this red lipstick that you will feel okay during the lunch or any dinner so I looked horrible <laughs> and I changed immediately this red lipstick to another one which I will show you right now so the color is okay it's lightweight if you have a dry lips you have to prep your lips before applying this lipstick Let's move on and I'm going to talk about Urban Decay red lipstick but I would like to show you some swatches and compare the undertone, the blue undertone with the Dior one. So this is the Dior I kept on my hand and you can see the difference. This is more red and this goes to the magenta side much more. And this is what normally everyone names the classic red lipstick with the blue undertone because it's white in your teeth but sometimes it just doesn't suit even those people who say it mostly suits everyone i cannot say the same because it might not suit me very well or maybe the problem is the the amount of the blue undertone you know so we have to be very careful about that and whenever you go to the Sephora or any beauty shop you have to grab all the red lipstick which you like and try on you because otherwise you will never figure out which one is the best for you this is in color 714 mega matte I was very impressed with this red lipstick it's not that lightweight as the other one but it has a very nice color probably it's a little bit more of blue undertone over here but it doesn't go too dark it's matte but it's a creamy formula probably I cannot say if it's velvet finish or too much satin finish this one more on a satin finish because it ha it gives you a little bit radiance this one it gives less radiance it gives you a little bit more product on your lips but I don't mind about that but the main point of this red lipstick when I was having the photo shoot and using this one and after lunch it looks horrible I changed to this one the longevity of this lipstick was much better after the lunch it was transferring gradually so I didn't had patchiness of the red lipstick and a harsh line so it was much pleasure to wear this red, red lipstick because I felt more confidence in wearing this one which I think very very important when you're wearing the red lipstick you always have to be aware of what happening around your mouth should you eat or not like a lot of women just avoid to eat because they want to keep their red lipstick on place and be sure that everything is fine so I found that this red lipstick is probably one of my favorite one because I feel okay I shouldn't be over worried <laughs> if um, it doesn't make sense so this is and the color and the texture and I think that matte suit me very well I found this red lipstick is one of the best so we are moving forward and I'm going to Zara 
I have a video where I'm talking about the nude lipstick and also giving you some swatches and everything. I will give you the link down below for this video if you're interested. And there I was giving you the swatches of the nude lipstick from Zara. Packaged just triple times less expense. But I think I chose the wrong colors from their website. They have three red lipstick. I chose the bright one and the dark one and I think I need the one in the middle so probably I can mix them and get those colors but I don't know I don't know for sure so I will start with the lightest one it's the ultimate UM17 this is very bright orangey color so I would like to move on uh, and I would like to show you the Chanel. Chanel, it's Rouge Alou Ink. It was very beautiful advertising of this one and I got it as a sample. So I tried this sample and I think that was the first time I saw something very, like really ink on your lips. There is no lipstick, so it's completely texture of your lips. Um, and it gives the color. I thought, oh my god, this is a new step in the industry. I would like to compare the red lipstick from Zara, which is UM15, with the red lipstick which already I have on my hand. Yeah, it has even more blue undertone, this lipstick UM15. I think I need UM16 because I think it's a little bit light, so like on the red side, I think that's going to be perfect for me. This is probably I would expect from Lisa Eldridge. Have the ribbon, and we will check. Because this one, I think when it's too much blue undertone, it doesn't suit me. So um, this is the Dior, this is the Urban Decay, and this is Zara. Chanel, um, this is the Rouge Alou Ink in color 152 this is matte liquid lip color when i first time saw this uh, lipstick actually i get it with, as a sample for when buying the magazine and i was pretty shocked oh my god this is something very new and interesting for the lipstick industry because it's really like an ink on your lips it's super lightweight it's almost nothing on your lips it just give you a stain on the lips and good color good coverage with the color without the kind of product on your lips you know so i thought that's gonna be very interesting and something new but i haven't bought any colors from chanel because i think just the color doesn't suit me This is even without the swatch, you can see how many blue undertone in this color because it's almost on the magenta side already. It's super lightweight. It really looks like a stain or ink. It doesn't dry. It's very moisturized, but it has it doesn't have a lot of pigment like Zara or even Dior. It has more kind of sheer effect on the lips but at the same time it doesn't go into the lines of your lips i hate it if it goes into the lines it's horrible it feels very luxurious the only problem with this lipstick if you see my lower lip is darker than the upper lip so with the ink sometimes when you apply the red lipstick you can make a mistake with this lipstick I thought I was applying exactly the same amount on my lower and upper lip, but it turned out that this lip is lighter than the lower one. And this is you have to be aware about and you have to check and you have to compare and you have to correct. Normally with any kind of lipstick, you will not make this mistake. Usually the lipstick goes evenly, but this one is strange, but it doesn't bother me at all. Now I would like to talk about two lipsticks, which I think has a great quality. Both of these lipsticks are received as a samples and um, something is wrong with those lipsticks. So the first one is from Delium Tools. They make eye makeup brushes and they probably start um, developing in uh, makeup industry with the makeup 
products now. And another one is from Caton D. I will start with the Delium one. It actually has a very sleek design of the bullet. It has also magnetic closure. It has a written name over here. It's black with yellow design. So it's very cute. It's kind of sporty design. So it's red in color. Matte lipstick, scarlet Oh, probably O'Hara 16 F1. This is lightweight, pigmented, creamy, not completely matte lipstick. It's bright, fiery orange color, which I think doesn't suit me. Probably I'm wrong, but it, it has a sheen, kinda, it's not fully matte, it's kinda setting radiant. The quality of this product, I, I think, fantastic, but the color, um, I think this is what, this is something what I'm not expecting from the Lisa Eldridge Morning Velvet, which is also red, orange, red, fiery color. I'm expecting something bright, but at the same time, not moderate orange color maybe i'm talking about i'm not sure if i can wear it you know i want to have something which i can wear and this is defined if i love it or not and let's move on to the next lipstick from urban decay the color is, this is Studded Kiss Lipstick Rouge à la vraie, Underage Red, Underage Red, okay. You know, I'm applying this lipstick and I'm thinking, it's smooth, it's kind of velvety, it's classic red lipstick with the blue undertone. It's great coverage, it's good pigment. What Lisa Aldrich Ribbon Velvet is gonna make more? Hmm? Gonna know it soon. It's a beautiful color, probably just for me, it's I'm more kind of on the red side than on the blue side. I don't know, maybe I will change my mind. I decided not to use primer because I want to give you the exact feeling of the lipstick. So we are moving on to one of my favorite one, the Dose of Colors. The Dose of Colors, I bought the matte lipstick. I had a lot of doubts to buy or not because I have very dry lips. I don't like matte lipstick, but I decided to give them a shot. And actually, I don't regret because the colors are just amazing. And I will start with the color Bittersweet. Oh my god! <laughs> this color makes me happy. This is so bright. This is not too orange. This is probably something what I expect from the Liz Aldrich lipstick, which wow, this is what what I was looking for. What this is what I was waiting for. This is what I would like to get from the Lisa Aldrich lipstick. This is matte, but if you use it with the primer, it, it, this one actually ultimate zone from Urban Decay is a pencil one. This is so so what I love. This is so saturated. You know, I think I love saturated colors. This is probably the best match for me. So the previous one, the Cat Von D, it was not a saturated color. It's too boring for me, probably. I don't know why. And everyone copied this classic red lipstick with the blue undertone, like copy, copy, copy. Um, I'm looking for something. <laughs> but it, it's not... It's just not orange because the orange color doesn't suit me at all. But with this one, I will wear, I will feel comfortable. I will enjoy this one. I look at myself and I enjoy this color. I have another red lipstick from Dose of Colors. It's Los Angeles. Or Los Angeles. I think on the French it's gonna be without S at the end. Los Angeles or Los Angeles. Los Angeles. Oh, 
I thought it's very dark color and I was so afraid to buy this. I don't regret that I bought this color. Mm. I love this color. This is probably color I am expecting from this Eldridge Velvet Jazz, which is the vintage, the earthy color. Ah. Guys, we are moving on. We are going to the path, my cross. I bought uh, her red lipstick set. There was three lipsticks. One of them was pink and two reds. One is bright, orange red and another classic red. So I will show you right now. This is uh, from Matte Trans Lipsticks, Velvety Texture. So probably one of the competitors for Lisa Eldridge. I will show you colors and textures. We will talk a little bit about this. I just would like to mention that I will not show you the pink one, but the pink one has absolutely amazing color. I never thought that any kind of pink colors might suit me. The name of the color is Full Panic. I was full panic. I was full of panic when I tried those lipstick. It, it suits everyone. I gave to my friend, she has a, a dark skin tone and every color was just amazing for her. So I will start with the color Obsessed. It's a bright orange red color. I don't know if this color is good for me. I think it's not bad and I think most people will find it good on them in different kind of skin tone. Mm -hmm. The next color, Elsom. She has, I believe, Elsom 3. That uh, was the new color and I think that's something different one. Because I think that Elsom is too dark and Elsom 3 a little bit lighter. This lipstick, when you just start to apply it on your lips, it, it feels like very dry. You have to remove the first layers to get the pigment. Uh, it's not hard, but at the same time, like um, none of uh, any other lipstick I have, I never saw this effect. Uh, but at the same time, then it feels kind of moisturizing. Very interesting for me. Right now it doesn't even feel velvety, I don't know why. Maybe this particular color, it feels less velvety, it feels more lightweight, kind of moisturizing, even light satin or something, thin layer. I would say, you know, even like oily. But you can see it has a radiant, it's not fully matte. I didn't use any primers, I didn't use any moisturizer or something balm. This color is pretty dark, it has definitely blue undertone. This is dark red lipstick for me, this is dark. I wouldn't like to expect this from Ribbon Velvet. But we're so close, we're so close to the Lisa Eldridge lipstick that we're gonna do that right now. I'm a little bit nervous actually, I would like to, to keep this miracle like somewhere in heaven and never know the truth <laughs> but this is not uh, this video about okay i will start with the velvet morning i will start with the lightest one i'm opening this masterpiece and we will see if it's a real masterpiece or just a very good quality product so let's see i will not tell you anything about the packaging i think everyone already knows it has a magnetic closure the velvety texture is just such a beautiful i i think everybody knows about that one already but this velvety texture this it's very beautiful and it's new you can see it's new mm -hmm. 
it's too plush velvet it doesn't have any radiance at all so it's velvet it's moisturizing it's pigmented is that my color i have a mirror here everything looks great on me <laughs> i probably was expecting some different texture from this lipstick but it's pretty much the same texture as she has for her pink collection i have only two color actually i would buy another two one as well i really want them now i have a rainbow spill and go lightly so the rainbow spill which is the highly saturated color i think it has exactly the same texture i don't know if it's not but it's very very similar to that one so in the comments down below please give me your thoughts what do you think if this color suits me and the rest as well we are moving forward to velvet ribbon the design is uh, of this lipstick is a masterpiece i it's a heaven yeah the, the design definitely It's a little bit radiant, but it has the same texture. It has a blue undertone. It's very pigmented. Let's check right here. This lipstick has the most blue undertone out of these four. So that was the Dior Urban Decay. That was the Zara one. And this is Ribbon Velvet. It has the, the biggest amount of blue undertone. It's beautiful, yes. It's beautiful. It's interesting. Because of the texture that might require more blue undertone to get the right effect. So maybe um, it's the, not the main point only about the undertone. This is also about the texture. Texture sometimes it gives a different perception of the undertone. It changes because for example, if you have a glossy lip, if you have the oily finishing, or if you have like this one, matte finish. So the same color in a satin lipstick might be not suitable for me, but would be suitable in a matte finishing. It's beautiful. Uh, yeah. It's beautiful. Probably I'm not that excited like I was excited with the dose of colors. But I think I'm gonna wear it. Definitely I will give a shot to wear them because the texture is beautiful. The lipstick is beautiful. So maybe the color is very saturated. So it's kind of even probably red neon a little bit. So it might be very beautiful. And the last one, Velvet Jazz. Mmm, the color is very beautiful. I'm just afraid that that's gonna be too dark for me. <laughs> but we're not gonna cry. <laughs> Wait, 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 wait. This isn't the end. This is my picture with the velvet jazz on my lips. Unfortunately, I didn't know that my camera stopped filming and I realized it much later. So I can show you only the picture, how it looks like. And I would like you to give my impression, my first impression and conclusion overall on all the lipsticks we compared today and uh, about the lisa eldridge of course so i have to say the velvet jazz is probably is my favorite one th out of three lisa eldridge lipsticks and uh, even though it's a little bit dark for me but still is it has this certain color which creates this vintage look and uh, if you would like to create and wear this look sometime this color need to be in your collection about the velvet ribbon which is the classic one you probably can find this color in many other brands and the zara one um15 is the closest to the formula and to the color uh, the formula zara and lisa eldridge lipsticks are like 
I would say 95% similarity in them and um, like I probably cannot see any difference except that Zara probably go even smoother on the lips and has a more even application than the Lisa Eldridge. Yeah, it's probably a uh, very interesting fact. About the Velvet Morning color, I would like to try it more because I'm not sure if it suits me or not, so you also can give me your comments below. And uh, I can compare it to Pat McGrath in color Obsessed, which is also bright red-orange color, but I think that the uh, Pat McGrath color just a little bit more muted than the Lisa Eldridge one so I would prefer that one and uh, for now my favorite colors remains the same so it's Urban Decay 714 uh, MAC uh, has uh, absolutely stunning red lipsticks um, in matte collection, which I tried, but it's very, very trying on the lips, so I stopped wa wearing them. But the color was absolutely stunning, the red one. I don't remember the name of that color. I will give you the link down below for four colors in matte collection they have. You can try them on. And those of colors, Los Angeles and the bittersweet um, also in my, my favorites one as a color and about the texture i think zara lisa eldridge and chanel one as i said they have a similarity a lot chanel just a little bit less moisture but it's also velvety matte finish and it's also moisturizing so these three lipsticks i think has a great texture i love it a lot it's my favorite one so this is it thank you very much for watching it gives me your thumbs up if you like this video and subscribe to my channel of course uh, to get more useful information and don't forget to click this ring bell button below so you will be notified every time when i'm posting a new video thank you very much guys and see you next time